But um, we have the Ghost War mission, which is a DLC mission. I'm going to hold off on that. Actually, let's see which, uh, look at our upgrades. Bundled together, use some ammunition, fire they create a deadly smoke that tears everything to pieces. Moves faster, causes more damage when it hits. Hmm. I'll hold off. I'm more interested in saving money in the long term and getting the better and getting some of the more powerful guns earlier. What do you got for me? Not to hang the jib, but it's not enough. You'll need some more. Okay, well, let's head to the manor. Captain Kidd's Sawtooth Cutlass. This fearsome sword is said to have belonged to Captain William Kidd himself. Stories of the famous privateer turned pirate have been told on both sides of the Atlantic for decades, along with whispers of the treasures he hid before he died. Couldn't even really look at the stats. Probably because there's nothing I can really compare it to. I think that's my first melee weapon of that type. Yeah, it is. I'm actually more interested in having like a like a bladed weapon, like a sword or something, as opposed to an axe or a tomahawk. It's just my preference. I do think the tomahawks are pretty cool, though. I I, I like the uh, I like the kill streak animations with the with the tomahawk. Okay, well, I guess we're going to head to Boston, and, um, got some collectibles around Boston to get, along with, uh, general shops I need to visit. Okay. Alright, let's see. We got 
Got some general stores I need to visit. Got some side missions. Which I'll hold off on for the time being. Alright, so let's see. First up, general stores. I'm going to sell undamaged pelt to three general stores in Boston. And then I want to get, I want to go through and get a bunch of collectibles. And then I'll do some more main, uh, well, no, let's see. I do have side missions too, I can do as well. What do you need, my friend? What kind of accent is that? What do you need, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I'm only selling pelts where I have a lot, a lot of. Because I'm holding, I'm going to save stuff for ingredients and for uh, missions. That's one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just bumped right into that guy. Alright. Also, have some forts I can liberate too. Mm, but I don't really have an interest in doing that quite yet.
Oh, there we go. So, what have you been eating? Okay, well, that's all the shops. Or general stores, I mean, in Boston, so that's something else that's uh, out of the way. Alright, so we got a lot of stuff we can do here. Assassination contracts. Homestead mission. Frontiersman. Courier mission. Yeah, wow. Well, I think for now I'm just gonna go through and get some collectibles. Now that I'm in Boston, I'm gonna get almanac pages I need to track down and trinkets and chests and all sorts of things. Side missions. I'll work on some side missions here and there between finding these collectibles. These aren't too hard to track down. There's quite a bit of them though. And I already synchronized all these viewpoints in Boston earlier in the game when I was playing as Haytham. Sucks. So they jumping across, I jumped, I just dropped down. Keep your steps to 
Uh, unless it flew too far away, because it respawned where it originally sorted at. There we go. No, no, that was a bit of a pain to track. <laughs> I just wasn't high enough to reach it. Vigilantes. Oh yeah, these guys help me out from time to time. If I move quick on this, it shouldn't be too hard to get it. There we go. Yeah, just like that. I haven't done any lock picking for a while. There we go. This is about to say. Pretty sensitive law. Get some more money. Cool. Take whatever I can get. Well, he jumped over it. I got an 
there by Trinket. I almost had it. There we go. So, uh, I got some forts I can liberate, which I'm going to hold off from doing at the moment. Make collectibles and submissions. Frontiersmen. Uh, let's, head, let's head south. Let me throw out some feed for the chickens. Got another trinket. Okay, so I need eight more trinkets. Once I get my last eight, once I get eight more trinkets, I can uh, work towards getting the the other Captain's Kid treasure map to get the Captain's Kid treasure. Long process. I don't think these guys seem to mind me. That or they're just completely. Oblivious to my location. I just like walked right past them. Oh, come on. I don't know if you noticed this, but whenever I go to uh, lock pick a, a chest. Um, we see how the lock is at the top where it slides across. The texture changes. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, there it is again. Lincoln Sword replica. 750 pounds. Well, I think it was actually just um, an ingredient. Oh, recipe. 
I didn't quite catch it. You know what? Let's get a liberated fort. It's been a little while. Kind of spruce up. Kind of add a little bit of excitement to this run.